BTK in studio playing Long Island somewhere in the round. Westbury, That's all we got yeah. out of him today. The Westbury Music Fair. Westbury, Westbury. North Fork. Westbury. Something Saturday Theater. the 17th. I think it's just the North Fork yeah. Theater. My tour continues. I was only going to go until November, but uh, there's a writer's strike. I got no job. Yeah. No, I'm going to be on tour all the uh, uh, MySpace.com. Hey, hey what do you think of that writer's strike, by the way? Uh, it's great. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> hey, I mean, fantastic. Yeah, no, the I'm thing, loving it. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, we should be on strike, but people that are into it, are get, losing the point. Like oh, really? When the president of this guild announced we're striking, a bunch of people cheered. Which, a strike is never that. a good thing. It's no. always bad. But people that are unemployed love strikes because then they get to do something instead of staying home. Oh, so there's so, some so, writers that weren't the, writing anyway. Yeah, they're like, yeah, something to do. Hey. And I can also schmooze with actually working writers on the picket They're line. networking. But here's the thing. Uh, to me, well, you, know, you don't want to hear about the strike, do you? It's so boring. Well, that, but, well you're, you're I'm just trying to make it interesting for like the... Uh, yeah, here, here's what I would say. For the masses out there. People that's that all are telling you like these writers need something and it's not fair, that's not the point. It's just economics. We, we, no corporation is going to give you something because they should. Right. They're going to give you something because you make them. So we're m m trying to make them give us what we think we can get because most people can't write. I mean, even when you watch a bad TV show, the writer had to be really good just to accomplish that awful TV show. <laughs> so it's something that not everybody can do, so we're using that leverage to try to get more money, which because we haven't had a raise in a while in certain areas. So, but people that get too into it when you when you break up with your girlfriend and start calling her a c word all over town, it's hard to get back together with her. So, yeah, I think people yeah. have to kind of cool you gotta it. be a little careful, right? There yeah. could be some uh, leftover animosity. Yeah, this is hitting the wire today. Family feud afoot for Fox cartoon. Listen to this: Fox is producing fresh episodes of the animated comedy Family Guy. Mm. Without the participation of its striking creator Seth MacFarlane, yeah, what? Who does, How? Who does pretty much all of the voices on the show? The voices, Not all, but it. Oh, and, and he yeah. also, and he he, he, if there's anybody who's like the single power behind a show, because he kept it going when it was oh dead. God. Like that's a show that got killed, and he crusaded and made it happen. Yeah, that's crazy. How are they going to so, do that? So, what are they just fired him, or is this because of the writers' strike that he's not going to be is, there? Yeah, I guess until the they're strike's making, over. Yeah, the, the, most shows when the writer because of the strike they can't make shows, but they're going to continue making. He, wouldn't family he guy. own the rights to it in some way? I don't understand. Well, no, they can. He, mm. they uh, own it. Fox and yeah, here's the, the explanation. Sudden. Fox and uh, sibling studio 20th Century Fox TV had the choice of going into reruns or continuing the show without McFarlane, whose outspoken defiance of his employers have made him a cause uh, celebre for striking writers. After a large writers' rally outside the Fox uh, lot on Friday, where he was one of the speakers, McFarlane said the studio could proceed without him, though he hoped it would not, and they have decided to do Family Guy without Seth. Yeah, they're doing that it is... because there, there's no way they're doing this for any reason other than that he spoke at the rally right. and that he was uh, considered a great speaker and he's a really active guild member. Well, so they're just targeting him because they're they're just well, well, these they're episodes, just showing off. They're scumbags. They of course can do they episodes are, but, well, they that don't do involve that. his voices, so it would just be like the daughter, the son, and the mum. Yeah. And the greasy deaf guy. Well, they'll just get uh, what's his name that did uh, Daffy Duck's voice. I hate. To <laughs> I'll be fine. Mel Brooks. No, no yeah. blank. No go blank. He'll blank do, do all the voice. Go get fake Fred or something. Yeah, I always hated that. Yeah, the fake Fred when it was like, uh, "Hey, Barney, yeah. what do you say we go to work, Bon?" Yeah, and it's like, wait, wait, that's not what Fred. The real no. Fred. As a kid, it, it was horrified yes. me. Yes. Me too. When, they get rid when of he Fred died, get oh, he died. He died. Fred. So, you know that didn't oh. stop them. He was, he was, as, Fred he was as fat as his. Oh yeah, character. drinking uh, yeah. and uh, smoking the Winston cigarettes that Fred and Barney used <laughs> yes. to shill yes. as cartoon characters. Yes, I remember. Hey, Winston cigarettes, <laughs> Fred. Pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> sitting back behind there, sure is Bond. And the cigarettes are always ha the size of their uh, their whole bodies for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, because cigarettes for giant cartoon pack. are so tiny that it looks weird. So they had giant cigarettes. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea. So that's probably why. It's a good point. I was wondering. Yeah. Louis is great at explaining things. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> like I would wonder why would they be small? And well, if you drew point. Fred Flintstone and put a cigarette in his hand, it's like a tiny little line. Like a yeah, pebble. You'll never even line. see it. So they just somebody just said, "Make those bigger." <laughs> how big? How like do you remember big? that? By but, the way, but sir, yeah. that's the size of his whole uh, whole body. But how do you yeah, remember that? Make the cigarettes bigger, idiot. Now we're looking at it on YouTube and you're absolutely right. Yeah, the cigarettes are it's insanely a, long. They almost like look like cigars. Yeah, like they're villains with yeah. long yeah. cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the penguin.
Hey, and other. We uh, don't know how no, small. Look at thing. It's, we don't know how giant. small they were. They were cavemen. Cavemen thing, cavemen weren't as were big as people are now. Through evolution, we've That's grown right. taller. Maybe <laughs> right. in proportion, they are normal sized cigarettes. That's and, true. And Barney was like three foot two. That's yeah, right. yeah, but that's true. But the Winston Who was Company doing the packaging. That's right. <laughs> and R.J. Reynolds has been a long run on that long, and they remember. Yeah, the caveman days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad we sorted that out. Yeah. The other thing about the writer strike, really fast. Ellen was supposed to do shows in New York. Yeah, because she, you know, she crossed the yeah, and line. She's and, not doing it, now. and now she's not. She's staying in L.A. Oh, Why really? Do you think uh, it is because she knows the reception. She, she gets. Oh, they already said they're going to protest so the outside uh, where she's doing. Yeah, her and stuff. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it because uh, I think part of it is again they can't. You can't really say f the companies because yeah. you're going to need to work with them again. So they just found somebody that says it's her. <laughs> Because she's she's not yeah. she has nothing to she's not uh, uh, we're not negotiating with her she's not keeping our residuals back is she wrong she just though? B- reported or, to work or it's all she, she did <laughs> reported to a job that she wasn't on strike for is she wrong to do it or is she as a producer? it's complicated because uh, Jay Leno is being a hero uh, because his show is run by writers her her show is up against shows that don't have writers. So, like, Jay goes off the air, so does Dave, everybody's happy, and sitting with Jimmy Kimmel. But the shows that she's up against, Oprah, all those other shows, they don't have writers, so they can stay on the air. And her show is writer-driven, um, and also because it's syndicated. But, you know, she kind of should not be working. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know, because when she complains about this is what would happen to my show, yeah, well, that's what everybody's risk is. Jay Leno's whole staff is getting fired. Yeah. Everybody's losing their jobs because of this. It's it's sacrifice. Wait, but, they're getting fired. Like- but I don't think it's as simple as that. The thing is that Ellen is uh, not a popular person. She's kind of a rotten, uh, <laughs> smelly, awful. <laughs> she sucks when I met her. Uh, is she uh, not a nice lady? Idiot. She's no. she's. I wish we were on XM so I could describe her completely. Of course, really? but I can't. Wait, what have you heard? The FCC cannot uh, would not let her be um, described. accurately described. This is interesting. <laughs> no. It would be like if a cop said who shot you and it was hard. He'd be like, you got to take me off the air because I can't. Yeah. I can't <laughs> tell you. Jimmy met her in Vegas, so this is really interesting because he got the big blow off. She was doing something for XM, and we were out there for XM. So I was like, I was like, ah, I walk up, and she's being filmed. I'm like, hey, I was, you know, I get my pictures. With everybody, it's just what I do. It's you didn't get a picture with me. I've met you twice now. Well, yeah, but I, I, you, I'm too nervous to ask. Okay. So I walked up to uh, <laughs> I walked up to Ellen. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm a comic. I'm also doing something with XM. I just wanted to get a quick picture. She's like, oh no, I can't. I'm in the middle of shooting. And she, but she wasn't. And I wanted to spit in her face. Yeah, she's really I gave her um, good trashing. If that's any consolation. Good for she's, you. I know people that work for her as writers, and she's yeah, she's uh, she's a uh, uh, dope. And uh, mean to people. Oh, easy, Lou, like on the language. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's, she's a spoil sport. She's yeah. a real ninny. <laughs> she's a right rotter, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she's a right rotter. Yeah, 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 yeah. she's a... Yes, most definitely. They went to That's commercial right. I was reading recently, and she yelled at her writers, why did you write that for me? Yeah, she's uh, really got pounds wow. of... Yeah, that had made the press last week, her, I believe. Was she no. a good stand-up in a day? Yes, I think she was <laughs> a good stand-up. Say? She was a good yes. stand-up. Okay. She was fine. She was all right. I know she never made me laugh, really, but... but uh, because she's got that way about her. Um, well, being a leather. Well, no, not that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Who cares about that? But the fact that she has this sort of MO uh, means that people pile it on. Yeah. So it's like, oh, look at her working. She shouldn't be working. And whatever, that story. You know what? I've had a show where I had writers, and I, often I'd look at them and say, you guys stink, and I hate you. <laughs> so I, the, the stories about how tough she is on the writers, that I take with a grain of salt because well, I guess this was... there's, there's a natural, you know, you got to crack the whip and also this mm-hmm. there's a natural thing where the person who's on camera uh, is taking the hits for bad jokes but would you do it in front True, of a live yeah. audience what's that would you do it in front of a live audience oh no I, never. I think that's what the story was oh, really? about yeah she did a joke and it sucked and she goes why would you write that for me and she was dead serious well, I don't know. While they're in break. Yeah, no, she sucks. You had good writers on Lucky Louie, man. Every one of them. It was funny, man. Yeah. Hey, what do you call uh, lesbians in Australia? For ourselves, we just can't do what CBS is. See, Dave was able to get a deal, because Dave okay. has his own company. I don't blame him for getting a deal, God bless him. But, see, you know, we have to go by ourselves up against the CBS machine. One man against a monolith. <laughs> exactly. 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 Good so, for him addressing it, though. Is, yeah. uh, are people pissed off at Leno? No, how can they be? I don't they know. Cannot, I, don't, I don't think they can because Leno was so supportive of the writers. But the reality is Dave's on. He has to go on. He can't not go on because it's out of Jay's control. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, he just can do it this way. 
And I, I, he, he waited until it was, his hand was forced, mm-hmm. and they're all going back. Do home. the writers look at it like it, it hurts their cause, though? I don't know, man. It's like I think they have mixed feelings. Like these guys went back to work. It's a big message to NBC and to the other ones. Um, that hey, look, some people are now going to have our services, but a lot of the writers are going to be left out in the cold because they happen to work for NBC or they happen to work for mm-hmm. ABCs. It's a real. I don't know, man. I also don't have the answer for that. Louis C.K. be great to ask because he fucking knows all this stuff. Is he around? Where is, as I call him, Louis the Queer. <laughs> 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 Fucking redheaded nothing. Another reason we had to come back was, you know, a lot of people get their news from the monologue. Because we cover a lot of the stories the mainstream media will not cover. Right, For example, did you know this? Did you know this? Three weeks ago, Idaho Senator Larry Craig married Britney Spears. Did you know that? How, <laughs> you see that? See, no one knew. This is the only place you will find that out. <laughs> <laughs> Other news stories that happened while we're off. New Jersey has banned the death penalty. Death penalty now illegal in New Jersey. Now, hang, I don't want to confuse anybody. If you kill a guy in New York, you can still dump the body in New Jersey. <laughs> you just can't kill the guy. Oh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> um, all right, getting big laughs. And they say Al Qaeda now trying to recruit women. <laughs> This kind of makes you wonder, what does Al-Qaeda promise women to become terrorists? <laughs> like men get the 72 virgins, right? What do women get? 50 guys that help out around the house, clean up, <laughs> cut the lawn, fix the plumbing, you know? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, it's good yeah. stuff. We're not going to laugh out loud, though. Make it fun of Islam. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Good President stuff. Bush said again this week, the Iraqis are slowly taking back their country, to which Exxon and Shell said, we will fight them tooth and nail. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh tomorrow, good of course, the Iowa <laughs> caucus. Iowa ah, caucus sure. tomorrow. As you may know, caucus is a Greek word, which means the only day anyone pays any attention to Iowa. I believe that's a Greek word. That's what it means. Yeah. And the audience is helping them out. Yeah, they're good. Iowa, also known as the tall corn state. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, that's, well, yeah, that's, see, that's why Dennis Kucinich had trouble being seen there. The people, Dennis, you see, the, the tall, and it is freezing in Iowa. It's like 20 degrees in Iowa, something like that. In fact, it is so cold, Hillary Clinton can actually see Barack Obama's breath breathing down her neck. That's how <laughs> and, It just sounds like he, there's like a weird confidence thing there with Jay. It's probably odd that, you know. No, and I'm, I mean, because it, it sounds like maybe he doesn't feel comfortable that he is coming back and that he feels like, uh, shit, I, I, I have to do this, but I don't feel good about this. Plus, his whole There's routine, something there. His whole routine is probably off, too, because he probably has schedules with the writers and he, the confidence in the material, because he's probably bouncing it off them and they're reviewing it right. together. And right. now all of a sudden he's by himself. It's like, that's probably a weird thing. Yeah. Like, imagine if you had to go on the air by yourself. Like, uh, what the fuck? Do I, it's like a weird you so used to having your guys. Like, right. I, I'm listening like you guys. He's the jokes are good, like you said, and and he's getting big laughs. But there's something weird there. Something it, a little it, weird, right? And yeah. I, I wonder if he just doesn't feel good that he has to do this. Maybe. Did you hear that, Jimmy, or not? No, I didn't hear that he regretted being back on. All except no, I, I don't know what it is. Or, or there's like a conference thing. There's something that's just going on. Yeah, there is like a weird. It feels energy. a little, little. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Louis, what's up? Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. Hello. Ooh. We were talking okay. about, we raised your name because you, you, you kind of know a lot about the, uh, the writer's strike. And Letterman going back on, is that, like, good for the writers or bad that the union made that deal? I don't know. I'm, it's a little confusing to me because it seems to me like a strike is just, you strike everybody. Um, but I guess the idea that they think is that uh, if he's really strong because he's got writers, then the other shows will have more pressure on them to compete by getting their writers back. Oh. I guess that's the notion. Hmm. I, didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't see this. I know it's kind of. I, I guess I don't feel like it's that easy to push around companies like General Electric. Um, <laughs> you know, if it was like trying to pit uh, the comedy cellar against the, the you know the comedy village on Bleecker Street, that's one thing. But yeah, it's true. That is true, man. Um, it does seem like it's a weird solidarity break in a way. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's uh, Those writers are back to work now. I mean, we all voted to strike, and um, 
uh, why we, there were, we weren't really didn't really vote on going back to work for one show. But I don't know. I mean, I get from the Writers Guild, I get great health benefits and pretty decent residual checks. Uh, so I kind of just go, all right, you know, go along with it. I don't know hmm. all of the details of it, but it's yeah. I don't know how did did you guys watch the shows? Because I don't know. I'm seeing hell. I'm seeing uh, Louis uh, not really agreeing with this whole uh, thing. What? Uh, with the whole thing with the writers going back. Yeah, I, uh, for I, one show like that. But it might be good only because that, it's so Anthony? weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think it's a good idea? Uh, no, I, I, I'm like seeing that y uh, you don't really think it's a good idea. <laughs> it's like there, there, there's a solidarity thing, and we didn't vote on the one show going back. But you know, hey, whatever they want to do. <laughs> I know. Louis just a, riding both sides of the fence here. I really Basic. have a hard time being uh, perfectly honest because uh, it's my union. Yeah. And, uh, Basically, uh, Louis like, why yeah. did you call me? You obviously don't like me. Yeah. Why are you putting <laughs> no, me in this no. position? But no, listen, I don't care. I really honestly kind of don't. I mean, I think things like strikes are always annoying because all of a sudden you have to pretend that everybody that works in any company is a piece of shit and that... Uh, every writer is awesome. That's the part that starts to get painful to listen to. You know what I'm wondering? What's I'm wondering that? if uh, when this strike is over, there'll just be a backlog of some of the most brilliantly written programs because the writers will have had so much time right. to just sit back and write not just write, amazing though. stuff. We, well, we talked you know, to the Letterman I'm, guys. They're like, we're not allowed to pick up a pen. If you're at home, <laughs> well, true, and you get an idea, you're going to write. You're, you're jotting it down. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm sure that you'll see uh, uh, two and a half men turn into the greatest uh, thing in American <laughs> history. Well, isn't it already? Stop. Because the guy had four months off, and now he's just going to start <laughs> kicking ass. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing is that what the, the industry that's being uh, shaken here it really kind of uh, stinks. Anyway. <clears> Who is it? The TV sucks, you know. Hold on a second. What, what happened? <laughs> To get down from my bed. Oh, so then it got ruined, your picture? <laughs> Wait a minute, I can fix it, you guys. It's not that big a deal. Look, all you got to do is see, look, move them over. This is all better right. than Leno. Mary, Mary you, can't, uh, you can't touch this. Oh, all I'll say about the thing with Letterman is that he really better kick Leno's ass in the ratings. <laughs> oh, with the uh, writers, yeah, if it happens the other way around. If it gets the other way around, it's going to be like... Oh, that's weird. Maybe writers don't matter. Yeah, that'll look wow. really bad. Yeah. So who, uh, I mean, I but who knows? Who do you think's eating their balls the most in this strike? Like, who's the one really getting the shittiest end of the stick? Um, don't say the viewers. No, not the viewers. <laughs> they can do. They can watch uh, re re repeats or DVDs. Exactly. Um, uh, who's getting the shit end of the strike? I would say that the people that work in television who aren't writers. Yeah, um, I think the, uh, mm. the they call them below the line, as if you don't want to hurt their feelings any more than paying them less. <laughs> uh, they, actually, they actually call them below line. It's below just, line. Oh, that's wow. a wonderful little title. Oh. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> those guys don't get residuals. Those like I, I you know, I'm, I'm a, my money's a little tight this year because I can't do a TV project. But right before Christmas, I got a lucky Louis residual check, and it saved Christmas. Aww. Wow, that must be nice. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, so, and again, and I go, you know, if I go to buy a codeine cough syrup with my insurance card, I pay eight cents. Without it, I pay $150. Literally, that's the difference. Wow. So, I'm doing great. But the guy who, uh, who runs the camera or the boom operator on Lucky Louie, he's, uh, the day he stops working is the day he stops having money. Um, so, and, you know, Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> if there's, I would say if there's two more self-centered, the most self-centered, selfish people in television are the two people involved here. It's the moguls that own the companies and writers. They're both groups of people that are very, uh, that really believe that everything's about them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sad thing is that the most people that work in the industry are just these guys who just have regular jobs. And they're not working now. They're not even talking. I mean, there no. there doesn't seem to be uh, uh, even a light at the end of the tunnel on this one. The the issues are so abstract, and there's so many of them, and uh, they're not even talking about it. So no, I mean the the thing that the 
the thing the writers are trying to get is uh, securing some sort of rights to uh, to money on the internet. Uh, both, both but that's sides. abstract, even for companies that are firmly entrenched in the internet. Still, how much they're making the the yeah, overhead. Nobody makes money on the internet, so <laughs> right? It's, so it's it's. I think it's hard for them to consider giving the writers that. But on the other hand, the companies are pretending. I mean, their companies are just saying we'll never give you any money on the internet. Ever. Right, right. So they're like they're, the, the writers are saying we know there's millions of dollars there and we want half of it, and the and the companies are saying what we'll never give you anything uh, because uh, you still you still only get. Uh, uh, money from kerosene lamp uh, uh, shadows. That's all you were giving you. <laughs> so you don't so, even, uh, like, you don't see an end to this uh, anytime soon, obviously. Well, you know, there'll be an end. It might it's, it may be ugly. It may not be that there's TV again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no TV. Over. TV's so done. There'll be some kind of end. But it's... It is hard to go on strike when some of the most huge shows uh, have no writers involved. Ah, uh, uh, reality programming. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's hard to compete with that shit. Yeah. And in the, in the face of it to say, ha, see how you like, see how you like your TV without now, fucking old Christine. See, now, is it? how long you guys last? <laughs> Isn't yeah, like, like a watching, you really want to watch old ugly Betty's instead of fresh ones? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how long you get on that shit, America. But now Amer American Idol, don't they use writers for? Uh... Well, there are people what? that are doing what's essentially writing, but they haven't been unionized. So because ah. everything that happens in a reality show is scripted and uh, edited by writers. Writers edit television besides, they, you know, they, they cast the shows, they, they edit them. So yeah, those people, and part of what the union's trying to do is make those people unionized. Um, right. And that's also kind of far-fetched. I agree mm. with everything the writers are trying to get, uh, but I guess I don't have much hope that we can force the only thing you can do to force companies to do anything is just stop working completely and just starve the industry out. Uh, hmm. so I, I'm not sure what this Letterman in between thing is. I'm not sure. Do I you really think people? Do you think people give a shit that much where there'll be some kind of a public outrage or outcry no, that'll make no. the 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 company give in to the writers? Because as I see it, like you said. There's there's box sets, there's reruns, there's movies, there's there's a, a shitload of things that I think will will go on a lot longer than the writers' money or patience uh, you know, in this. And this is here's the thing. There's no there's this is very different from other strikes. This is not like a populist labor strike. Mm -hmm. This is a negotiation between two people with lots of money. <laughs> this is, this I'll is, go on forever. Yeah. This isn't like. Oh, Kitty, that's amazing. My daughter drew a dog, and it's very good. <laughs> it's really good. That's Daddy really Louie. That's really good, if you like bad drawings. Um, <laughs> um, oh, you're despicable. I love it. I know. No, here's, here's the thing. This is not like uh, guys with no gloves on their fingers over a, a can that's on fire. <laughs> yeah, cans. yeah. You know, going like uh, let's stick together, brotherhood. <laughs> this is the this is we want more money, and we we're, other unions stick together to protect the weak in their unions. Writers' mm -hmm. union is very different. This is a group of people that do something that other people can't do, which is remarkably right. Ninety percent horrible television, ten percent okay, <laughs> one percent good. Point oh 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 one percent excellent. That's what we can do that no one else can even be trained to do. Yeah. Um, well, God you have damn. to ignore her, Kitty. Oh. But so so we have leverage because we we Amazing. do something they can't. That's all it is, and we're trying to use it to get more money. We, whether we do or not, I don't think it really interests the general public. Why would it? Uh, I'm interested in the fact that you're not allowed to write, uh, so you babysit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 
take care of my kids, and I go on the road and do stand-up. I, I'm very lucky that I'm a comedian. Yeah. Uh, and I can do that. But it's like a long snow day. I love it. I love that I don't. I have an excuse not to work. How was your New Year's Eve show, Lou? In Raleigh, North Carolina? Yeah. It was the greatest night of my entire life. <laughs> Spending New Year's Eve in a comedy club in Raleigh. Good boy. <laughs> it was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Well. Uh, I wasn't with, you know, I wasn't kissing a woman that I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lou, let's start with the fresh talk. Yeah, you're getting yeah. fresh. Right yeah, there, Louie. All right, Louie. Um, well, hang in. What does everybody say? Hang in there. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah, if you got whatever. a gig today, hey, hey, Lou, break a spine. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, we're all better off than a lot of people. I don't know. It's, it's most people uh, have flies on their face and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> distended bellies. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you there know, you I'm go. Sure they, I'm sure they're assholes, too. I don't think there's anything <laughs> great about those people. Yeah, right. The thing is, the martyrdom of groups like this, it's like after September 11th, we all had to pretend that there was not a single asshole in that in either building. Right. Which is just not true. Exactly. Law mm -hmm. averages. Please. Yeah. So, so the writers, you know, uh, I, I hope we get, I'm in the group, so I really hope we get what we're asking for, and I support everything that they do because they're my union, and I don't work, I don't vote in my union, I don't pay attention, I don't know how we got these awesome benefits, but we have them, so I tend to uh, go along. But I don't think that some guy wearing a hard hat should be like, ah, oh, those writers, God bless them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they get their third tier residuals on the second quarter of each day. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, for all of us. Yeah. All of us. Where would America be without <laughs> fucking, you know, CSI, whatever? I don't even know. I don't watch this shit. But somebody does, so. Yeah, apparently. Give right. us some money. Uh, well, thank all you, right, Louie. All right, guys. Goodbye, well, sweet take potato. care of those kids. Yeah, take care of those little around. angels. Sacramento this weekend at the Punchline, if anybody gives a shit. Okay. Absolutely. Sacramento Punchline, Louis C.K. See ya. Uh, Later, man. Yep. And Mike's going to be on Corin on Friday? I'm on Yes, Colin. he is.